so we're going to carry on with our box tutorial so we're going to look at the mortar wall again first here we're just going to select our ground dirt and um, just looking at the height here I'd say it's probably poking out a bit too far so let's just go to our height layer and what we can do is we can actually use our opacity here and turn that down just on the just on the height you see how that isn't sticking out as much now so let's put it all the way in you get no height at all and that's our full height so we're just going to put that down to maybe like for 40 or something like that um, we're also going to hold alt and click on our mask just so we can see the mask and we can see that because we've changed the contrast um, we can see some of the um, dirt is coming up on the top so if we just tweak the contrast and just set that so that's black so that when we come back in we're not getting any dirt on the top surface here um, so one other thing we might want to do is actually just paint out some of these parts of dirt so we're going to do the same thing we did before we're going to make a new folder we're going to add a black mask sorry a uh, let's just clear that, uh, white mask to that and then we're going to drop our mortar wall in there and now we can use this mask and we can go to something like our dirt brush here and you can see we've got various options options for changing it such as uh, the size of it obviously so we get a bigger area but we can obviously do that with the brackets we can change our spacing and we can change our angle and so on as well um, in terms of the alpha that we're using on this we can change the hardness of it as well and obviously you can define the threshold of the alpha as well um, so what we're going to do with this is make sure we're selected on the mask and this is set to black remember you can toggle between black and white using X and then we're just going to paint out any elements of the dirt that we might want to take out So yeah, we can try out different brushes and so on like that, but doing this obviously gets you a bit more like your own kind of style on the model rather than just using just using presets. And also we might want those edges to come out a little bit more on the where we've put that metal edge where too.